Welcome. This one is going to be about what's wrong with cops in America, maybe the world, and law enforcement in general. This is not a cop bashing video. This is not something talking about police brutality. This is not something saying we need no cops and no laws and some stupid. This is how can we actually get the criminals responsible for the crimes and at the same time protect our constitutional rights a lot better. All right. So what's wrong with cops in America or what's wrong with law enforcement? There's too many cops. There's too much wasted money on cops and it's not working how it should work okay you have you have all these cops that go down to the precinct and they sign in they get their you know cop suit on yada yada they they start driving around the streets pretty much randomly looking for crime so that that gas money that's pollution and we're we're paying for this with our tax money and it's for us it's for them to protect and serve us, all of us. And so, my bottom line theory, short and sweet, is we fire half of the cops because most of them just sit around doing nothing most of the time. That's just how it is. It's not like the TV show you watch and there's always action and they're always save, getting the bad guy and saving the good guy. It's just not how it is in real life. So my theory is we fire half the cops. Or you could say they're, they're relocated. We offer them a new job, so to speak. And what we do with the money that we get from not paying all those useless cops is we put up a camera grid, a system of cameras that watches everything. All right, because I don't care what you think or say, you're, you're being watched already. If somebody does a crime on the, the president or the White House, a satellite can track them. So how come you don't have the same kind of protection? If somebody comes into your house, does something to you or your family, why can't the satellite track that? So what we need is a grid of camera systems that watches everything. Uh, Google says 2,300 Americans go missing daily. Daily. All right? Little girls. They never made it to the bus stop. Well, if we had a camera on the street of all our houses, well, when that little girl went out into the street, we could see what stopped her from getting to the bus stop, what car picked her up, and then track where that car goes because all the roads are being monitored by these camera systems. And so you have a cop salary being, what, starting off at, what, 45000 in some states and up to 55000 in other states starting salary. Um, you know how many cameras that is? And so all you need is to find the criminals, all right, and the right criminals and see where they go, catch them, right? So if, if a murder happens, sad, the murder still happens, right? The murder still happens while we have all these cops driving around. They can't protect everybody. The main thing is that we get the criminal, right? And so people, are, you know, are going to try to say, well, no, what if the, the criminals uh, shoot the cameras or, or throw rocks at the cameras? Well, we have a camera watching the camera. And there, there, there will be no area where you can get away with throwing and destroying the cameras without us seeing that. And if you don't understand how important cameras are in law enforcement and how many times that saved people and gotten the wrong person uh, out of jail that they, they thought was the bad guy first and things like that, cameras work. If they don't work... Take them out of the liquor stores and the banks and take them off of the cop cars. And don't use any cameras in law enforcement. 
cameras have changed law enforcement almost as much as forensic science has changed law enforcement. It just works. It's, it's evidence. It's, you know, and so we should be using our resources better. All right. And this, this protects us and our national constitutional rights. All right. Because you just have a cop that is taking orders in this stratification system where he has a boss. What if his boss is corrupt? The boss gives you an order. You got to listen to your sergeant. You got to listen to your chief. He has to listen to the people above him. Who's watching all this? You know, the cops show up. Yeah, there's a camera on the cop car. And, uh, but what if they get rid of that evidence? What if they say the file was corrupted? What if they say, oh, we forgot to put the memory stick in, in that one on that day? You know? And we're, it's like we're, we're reaching like a precipice where if we all don't change and we don't wake up, it's not even going to be cops enforcing what these people above are, are saying. We're going to have robots doing it. And we already can kind of see how we got the drones killing innocent people. You know, who's watching the drone? If you're not going to stand up and say we should be watching, guess what? Nobody's ever going to be watching. And we're going to be soon in a system of control that we can never change. We'll never be able to get out of it once the, the robots are the police. Once. They don't need a pilot to even control the drone flying. They have a program for that. And all it takes is somebody up top to go get that guy push a button, and now the, the robot drone got him. No court, no trial. You're guilty. Why? You're a terrorist. Terrorist, terrorism. So the only reason you would try to say no cameras is if you're guilty of some crazy shit. And at the same time, it's like my freedoms are my freedoms. And so these cameras that we're going to put up, it's not for me if I want to go buy some weed. It's my body. I can do what I want. It's my body. And I'm not harming anybody else. It's the real crimes. The, the rapes. The burglaries. The, the batteries. The murders. That these cameras are for. It's not for you to say. Terrorism. You know you're smoking weed. No. Arrest him. No. It's not for that. And. This is how it's got to be. You know what I mean? So, deuces.